Now, we will look at this classification little more detail. So, first generation of the Indian workforce which uh, who were born between 1945 to 1960, they constitute that 20 percent of the India's active workforce. Their entry into workforce happened during the 60s and 70s. Please think about what are the most defining moments during that time when people were growing up in the 60s in India. So, that was the time of major food crisis in India, that was the time when uh, green revolution just started, invasion of the China was a major crisis of that time, uh, East Pakistan was formed, they have this generation has seen East, East Pakistan being formed, uh, green revolution started in 70s, Nation, the nationalization became a major step which defined politics as well as economics. Emergency was imposed in the 70s, uh, Akashwani was the major source of communication in India, uh, major source of mass communication in India. Akashwani means the, the uh, government sponsored, government supported radio channel of. Uh, so, these are the uh, important uh, characteristics of the 60s. Uh, of when the free gen was growing up. Thanks to many of these characteristics, we see some of the common attributes of the free generation. What is that? These, these attributes are like service orientation. So, these are the people who are, who are inspired by the idea of nation building and uh, this was the time period when this generation was growing up. Lot of conversation was happening around the socialism and various uh, shades of socialism. So, uh, that has naturally affected their uh, world view about their role in the society, uh, role of the politics in the uh, politics and economics in the nation building. They are naturally relationship driven, they want to please their bosses because this is probably also is the hangover of the colonial past. Uh, they are found to be generally good team players. Uh, found to be uncomfortable in uh, resolving conflict, found to be uncomfortable in the conflicting situation, little less assertive uh, generation, uh, give more importance to process than the result uh, and very sensitive to the feedback. So, these are some of the characteristics being found uh, by uh, Sonia Rajesh and uh, her team in this generation. And this uh, study is based on large number of the focus group discussions and the interviews of the, the corporate leaders working in various industries. So, next generation is generation X. Those who were born in between 1961 to 70, what are the defining moments for this generation? Those who were born in 60s, those who were born in early 60s and they were growing up and started thinking about their surroundings, started making sense of the economic and political scenario when they are like 15, 20 years or 20 years old. They are the people in their, they were the people in their 20s uh, in, in the decade of 80. That decade is remarkable in terms of the multiple shades of the socialism being discussed in India. That is also a time when the reservation was uh, uh, implemented, the caste based reservation in the educational system and the uh, jobs actually enhanced, uh, uh, Mandal Commission recommendations were implemented. That is also a time when serious challenges were thrown to the uh, Congress party, that was the time when India started growing little faster. So, the late 80s were the slow period of the growth, the rate which is called the Hindu rate of growth. D during this time, the growth rate increased little bit. India was kind of uh, getting acceptance as a nuclear power, uh, these, this generation has seen that. And women in India 
made remarkable progress during this time. So, that was the beginning of the recognition of women power in India. The major characteristic of the generation X are that they are adaptable. Probably the bureaucratic system of India and the license Raj of India uh, was still there for this generation and they had to maneuver their path uh, in that scenario. So, they are more adaptable, more pragmatic because the growth opportunity is started during this time. Technology became starting from the telephony to other technologies became more prominent in the society. They are the creative generations multitaskers, they are aggressive, little aggressive in driving growth and they value the self reliance. Gen E are the people uh, who are born in the decade of 71 to 80 and that account for 29 percent of the workforce. This generation has very clearly seen the liberalization, globalization, fast economic growth when they were growing up, when they entered the work, workforce. In the 90, in the late 90s, when the, when India conducted the Pokhran uh, exp, uh, atomic uh, expo, explosion, that was an incidence where India was accepted after few months of this incidence. This is the generation which has looked at liberalization globalization and fastest economic growth. In the 90s, India conducted the set, second atomic test in Pokhran at the at time of uh, the prime ministership of Atal Bihari Bajpayee and within few months or years, India was accepted as a uh, uh, responsible nuclear power. So, this generation has seen the change of uh, India being more powerful, more assertive, most promise, more promising country in terms of the economic growth. We will see the people who are born in this generation, many of them are now leading the corporations across the world means Google, Microsoft, Stanchart, many, many organizations. There are at least 30 percent of the CEO of fortune 500 companies are being led by India born leaders. So, most of these people belong to Gen E. Uh, they have seen technological revolution. This is also a time when large number of students, large number of boys and girls coming from lower middle class or middle class families with the thanks to the emerging recognition and power of India in the software industry have they started working in large number of multi, uh, multinational corporations, they went out of country and they have seen the uh, financial economic prosperity which their parents have not seen. So, this is the generation where people have seen the economic prosperity, uh, though particularly those people who. So, this, so this is the generation where people coming from uh, lower middle class or middle class income group have seen the economic prosperity. So, this is the time of the rising middle class uh, and their global exposure. The members of this cohort, they value hard work and they believe that efforts in the right direction can bring results because they are seeing those results. Lot of people of the Indian origin going to very uh, reaching to the very high level of the corporate ladder. So, that gives that confidence. Gen E have naturally have this attributes of growth orientation, their global thinking, global thinking became uh, prominent that started coming with more ease uh, in this generation, they are more techno savvy, they have become more environmentally conscious because this is the time when worldwide the conversation about the sustainable development became popular they focus on education because large number of people have seen the power of education maybe as entrepreneur, maybe as a technology entrepreneur, maybe as technocrat in all these categories which are like major uh, features of for this generation is based on 
the power of education. So, they focus on education, they want a life, this is the generation which has become more conscious of work life balance, they hate micromanagement, they love autonomy. 